Greetings, greetings to my lovely Cancers. Welcome back or welcome, Cancer, to my channel. We're here today, Cancer, to do a love reading for you. And it is a general reading, which means that if for some reason you find that it doesn't resonate for you, do not panic, Cancer. That's just simply an indication that you need to go ahead and subscribe if you are not already so that you'll be the first one to know about future messages as they come for you over the next few days. Also keep in mind, Cancer, these are predictive readings. Sometimes they don't seem to be resonating because the events that are depicted in them have not happened yet. Keep that in mind while viewing it. You should expect to, with this timeless reading, know that Whenever you are drawn to this message, that is when this message is, you know, timing wise right for you. You should expect um, to see in your reality what is depicted in these messages within a week of viewing the video. All right. So with all that being said, Spirit, let's get some messages on the board beautiful cancers what can they expect in love and relationships in these coming days your first message cancer comes by way of the six of pentacles that is followed up by the strength card in the reverse at the bottom of the deck all right get you straight here cancer all right cancer with this six of pentacles i'm seeing actually more than one storyline unfold here and that makes sense there's a lot of cancers in the collective out there right so <clears throat> keep in mind both of these storylines as you traverse through the days ahead here with the open hand on the six of pentacles and the coins being exchanged i'm seeing on one hand in one storyline i am seeing someone romantically that you are involved with or would like to be involved with this person is very interested in what you cancer can do financially in their lives all right so this can go one of two ways right they just either want to see what it is that you're made of financially or for those of you already involved in relationships they want a clear view of your finances because my feeling is you may not be exactly forthright when it comes to what you're worth financially or what you're bringing in financially with your partner right kind of keep a little bit of something to yourself and so this person, this, this, your person rather, Cancer, is looking at what it is financially that, you know, you are able to contribute. So this can be in a sense of someone who wants to use you. And I think that's more likely in the case of someone who is, who, cancers that are not already involved in a relationship, right? Uh, potentially, there's someone there that you're interested in, but at the end of the day, what you're going to find out is they're, they're more interested in your coins and your finances, and they would be that way with anyone, Cancer. It's not just that they're singling you out because, you know they just have in mind that they want to do this to you it's more or less like that's how they operate that's their modus operandi they would go after anyone's finances they use romance as a way to secure their pockets and we're talking about whether it's a masculine or a feminine so it doesn't matter in that regard the other thing that i see here is potentially it's important, and this is the different storyline, it's important to this person, your person, that financially you are able to hold your own cancer just because, you know, 
they want to get with someone who's on their level or is actually on a level that can contribute, right? It's not that they want to be in your pocket. They just want to know that you hold your own. Like, like they don't want you to be what we just described, only interested in being in their pockets, draining their pocket. They want to know that, hey, Cancer, you bring your own financial means to the table and you, if you fancy something and want to make an, a, an expensive purchase or, or just go on an afternoon of shopping, you can do that because you have, you know, the means by which to pay for those items that you want. So they just want the, the peace of mind that you're not just clearly with them for financial reasons, Cancer. All right, so again, both possibilities exist. What it's going to take is you actually being clear in what you're seeing and not trying to look past anything you're seeing. Because if the person is after your money cancer it's going to become very clear that that's the game they're playing and you cannot sit there and act it, this is what spirit's saying you cannot sit there and act like you don't see that because you're so into the person you have to look at what is and accept it for what it is with the strength card in the reverse and I'm just pulling a clarifier here of the eight of pentacles in the reverse. It's like, <sighs> we talked about, well, both of the scenarios we talked about, whether the person is trying to get into your pocket or whether they just want to know that you're financially good. This comes you know, their inquisitiveness about this cancer comes at a time that is awkward for you to be worrying about these things because you're not feeling like you're at your best right now in a financial s standpoint. This eight of pentacles in the reverse is like, you know, some things have been a little off kilter financially and we all can go through those times, right? So it doesn't feel like it's like a, the end of the world type of situation, but it's just a rocky time. Maybe you've got some job insecurity and you're trying to navigate that. Maybe you're out there looking for work, even though, yeah, you know, you're having, you've got a little bit saved to the side because maybe you expected to be looking for work at this time but you're you're basically having to go into your savings or whatever for everything or maybe it's just like you know some things didn't come through and pay off on time and now you're kind of in this period of waiting for monies that are owed to you right so you're feeling a little financially insecure in some kind of way and that is like this person actually looking at you, looking at your finances, looking at how secure you may be, wanting that reassurance is making you a little bit, it's like a little too much to handle right now with, with what the other concerns are that you have with your finances. So what Spirit is saying, because you're in that position, it's like you try, there's a tendency to want to overcompensate. You want to show this person like, because your normal, your normal um, way of being is, yeah, I've got the financial thing handled. Like I'm holding my own. I'm always good with that, right? That's your normal. But right now you're just in a little patch, a little period where it's, it's a little jiggly, right? So because of that and the insecurity around that, you may 
be tempted to overcompensate when you see that this person is looking at you saying, huh, is cancer really straight? You know, so you may want to show out a little bit in order to put their mind at ease, in other words, because, you know, we cancers like to take care of those around us, right? And we don't want them to worry about things. So that's what spirit is showing me. And spirit is cautioning against that because that can put you in a situation, especially financially, if not otherwise, where you're now overextended for real cancer. And when it comes down to it, once you put yourself in that position so that this person can relax, this person isn't going to turn around and make sure that you're completely financially solvent. And in the case of those of you who may not even yet be in a solid relationship with the person, oh, that person will, you know, you'll overextend yourself and they'll, oh, let me back away from cancer and be gone. In the case of where you are in the relationship cancer and now you've overextended yourself, now this person is like, what? You want me to do what? Like, it's, it'll be a problem. It'll be a problem, Cancer. Don't overextend yourself to make this person feel good. Be and stand in the strength of sayings. Spirit saying, turn the strength upside down. To, I mean, turn the strength right side up. Be in the strength of saying, yeah, you know, I'm having a moment here. Some things, I'm waiting for some things to play out and I'm good. Once it plays out, I'm good. And I stay good. I stay good 95% of the time. Right? Just be that straight. And don't worry about what, you know, what their insecurity around that is or why it's being brought up now. Because I feel like you'll go down that rabbit hole of thinking like, why are they even thinking about this now? I've been with them for a year or I've been with them for three years. Why are they even thinking about this now? This is crazy. They know I'm good most of the time. Like, don't... Don't go there. If you're, if you're working from this overextending yourself place, you will go there. And that's just going to add a lot of stress to you in an already stressful situation. Stand in your strength and say, listen, see your hand on the lion, petting the lion. Listen, I'm good. I'm good 95% of the time, Mr. Lion. And, and I will be back there. I will be back there very soon. I had some things. I have expected this to come along. And now I'm just navigating it. I'm making wise decisions. All right, Cancers. I hope this was helpful. And I want you to go ahead and subscribe. Join the family. And so that the next message that comes your way for you, you'll be able to see that when it drops. All right, Cancer. Until next time.